If you've been using Infusionsoft to deliver digital files, there's a pretty good chance that you've used the file snippet. And as you may or may not know, the file snippet doesn't really give you much flexibility, right? You can upload or attach one of your existing files, um, but you can't change the size of that text. You can't change the format of that. Um, I can change the text around it. So if I choose to make this much bigger, let's say font size 12, well, pretty quickly the file uh, or the attachment doesn't match any longer. So that can be frustrating um, and it can really be limiting in terms of creating the beautiful or aesthetic uh, marketing appeal that you're going for. So um, there's a trick, there's a little workaround for creating an attachment uh, that doesn't require you to use the file snippet. And it's actually more important than ever with the new email beta builder that they have released in the past few weeks. So um, what a lot of people don't know is that Infusionsoft, if you hover over this home icon, has a files section. So if you go ahead and click on that files section, um, it'll bring up the My Files tab, which is for the logged in user. These are the files that pertain to that particular user. But you also have a company files tab, company images tab, and a digital products tab. Uh, just as a side note, this is where you can delete and rename any images that may have accumulated in your app over time. Uh, but the company files tab is really what we're going for here. So this is where your files are um, stored or listed once they have been uploaded to Infusionsoft. And the reason that this is important is because you have a download link here. So if I right click or two finger click on that download link, I've got the option to copy link address. And the reason that's important is because that link address can then be used as a URL. So if I don't want this here any longer, right, I can drop in a title snippet, for example, and I can say uh, 10 lead magnets PDF, right? And the benefit to that is now I get to craft my own language, I get to control the size and the formatting on it, and all I have to do is pop in the URL that I just copied. So it's hosted somewhere on cloudfront.net, but it has my app name and then a unique uh, download key, something like that. So that URL, uh, again, I just two finger click over here and choose copy link address. That one can be used as your hyperlink location. So now this email is ready to go out and instead of having the clunky file snippet, I've got now my own text and a URL that I've crafted. Right? So again, part of the reason that this matters is because in the new um, email broadcast builder that a lot of people are just sort of figuring out, you'll probably notice that your blocks or your snippets that you build with, um, they aren't identical to what you had in the old builder. So we don't currently have a file snippet, which I've seen a few posts in the various community forums or the various Facebook groups with people asking, well, how do I attach a file? So you can host that file um, on your own domain, you can host it uh, on an Amazon S3 server, or you can use the Infusionsoft company files area and host it there. And all you have to do is create your link and then go ahead and paste in that URL. So again, uh, this kind of gives you a couple of different advantages, right? Number one, you get to control what the link says. Number two, you get to control the formatting behind the link. But number three is you get more versatility for where you exercise that link. It doesn't have to just be your campaigns or your broadcast. Now you can take that very same link hosted within Infusionsoft and distribute it to your social media channels or any other avenue that you feel is appropriate. Now, uh, it's worth me mentioning that I'm not the first person to, to discover this. I certainly didn't create it, right? People have been using this trick for a long time. It just hasn't been very well popularized. I've seen a few other resources out there documenting or explaining this type of a tactic. I just haven't seen it done in a way that I felt like touched on all of these key points, especially now that it's important or more important, arguably, because there's no file snippet here in the email builder. Uh, if you are curious, there is a Help Center article called Storing Files in Infusionsoft that talks about the different section, my files, company files, company images, and to whom those are or are not accessible. So if you want to learn a little bit more, I recommend checking out what's available in the Help Center or just exploring the my files section and the way that that integrates or ties into your different email locations. Hopefully that helps. Cheers.